The national anthem will be performed by Robert Bell High School Choir member Katrina Correa. Sit down here in a second. They're 
we're getting tired of sitting and standing up, so if you guys want to sit down, you can sit down for us. Next up, we have our junior varsity. These guys are going to be in blue and in white. Uh, this is a group that we're going to continue to develop. Uh, our sub varsity levels for us is a developmental process. Uh, these guys need to understand that the process is the process and they have to trust it. And in order for them to be successful, they're going to have to continue to get better. And uh, if they're not happy with their current situation, we ask them to change that with performance. But really could be happier of a group that works extremely hard. We expect great things from our, our junior varsity. There's some guys here that will probably move their way up uh, to the varsity in a couple of weeks if they continue to do the things that they're doing. So we're extremely proud of what they've done. They've worked hand in hand with our varsity team. Uh, and for us, we talk to our guys about after the freshman level, we really have one team playing two schedules. Everything that our varsity does, our junior varsity does. The schedule they choose to play is up to them. Uh, we're going to play the best kids. We really don't care who the performer is. We're more worried about the performance. Uh, but these guys have worked extremely hard. I know every one of them have goals of being varsity football players. And I think for some of them, it's going to work out sooner than later. So a uh, round of applause for our junior varsity football players. At this point, before I continue, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Mr. Espinosa for the introduction of our varsity football team. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your 2016 varsity saber jacks. Junior Adam 
Number 53, senior Daniel Manzono. Number 55, senior Gabriel Ramirez. Number 61, senior Kayla Luna. Number 62, junior Diego Moreno. Number 63, junior Ernie Manu. Number 64, senior Joey Camion. Number 65, junior Marlo Castro. Number 66, senior Jacob Garcia. Number 68, senior James Gonzalez. Number 73, senior Brandon Alaniz. Number 75, senior Jaime Alaniz. Number 76, senior Sergio Castillo. Number 77, sophomore Jaden Rojas. Number 78, senior Pablo Pepino. Number 80, senior Christian Salinas. Number 81, senior Nick Garza. Number 82, sophomore Nico Rodriguez. Number 85, sophomore Brian Correa. Number 92, senior Alex Gonzalez. Number 94, junior Timothy Ellington. Number 95, senior Jesus Castillo. And number 99, senior Jay Lucio. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2016 Varsity Saber Death. At this time now, I will introduce your coaching staff. We have offensive coordinator Patrick Shelby. Inside receiver coach Greg Garcia. Running back coach Moses Cantu. Your tight end coach Gene Shu. Offensive line coach John Rock. Defensive coordinator, Haskell Buck. Your D-line coach, Jody Kandu. Assistant D-line coach, Randy Abitrop. Safety's coach and strength and conditioning, Albert Martinez. Special teams coordinator and quarterbacks coach, Ernie Alonso. Coaches Arnold Flores, Jaime Perez, Joey Sanchez, Moses Rock, Alex Gutierrez, and Robert Dubois. And of course, the man of the hour, your head football coach and athletic coordinator, Michael Salinas. Again, as these guys stand before you, I just want to uh, let you know how hard they work. They work extremely hard. Uh, last couple years have been really good years for us, and these guys understand that the guys before them sort of set the standard. We talk about the standard being their best, and they're the only ones that know that. So we're going to ask for their best effort every day, regardless of what it is. Whether it's going home and being a better son, whether it's being a better student, or doing the things socially that it takes to be a better person. So we're going, to, we're going to stress that to our guys and we hope that through development and through building relationships with our kids that we're going to continue to put this program in the right, move it in the right direction and continue to be a championship caliber program. Uh, there's no doubt, I think, uh, witnessing tonight that we got the best fans in the city of Lindbergh. So for that reason, We talked to our guys and we sort of witnessed the last couple of years. I told them that they had an opportunity a couple of years 
ago when we opened Robin Miller High School to, to change the culture of the school, to ignite and change the culture of the community. Uh, and I think these guys have done that. They've united the south side of town. They've done a great job uh, with what they've done on the field. And what we want to do is make sure that we put a good product on the field every Thursday or Friday night. So for the tangible things that the parents can see in the stands, we want our guys to be the toughest football team and to be the most disciplined football team on the field. And I think if you come out and watch us this year, uh, hopefully they'll prove us right in that regard. So this is a special group. We look for big things out of them. They understand what the group before them left. And these guys that stand before you, they don't want to let anybody down. They want to make sure that they're able to hand the next group of seniors the same gold trophies that the guys before them handed them. So the challenge is to them. And with that, I'm going to ask our seniors to take a step forward. If we have great senior leadership, we feel like we can have a great football team. Uh, through fall camp, these guys have come together. They sort of figured out what they wanted to do as a football team. I think as a senior class and as a varsity football team and as a program, we sort of uh, have a vision of how good we want to be. And their job as seniors is to make sure that we can go out and compete against that vision every day to be the best version of ourselves. And if we can do that individually as a team, we would be better. So the challenge to this senior class is to make sure, is to make sure that they don't let go of what was given to them. And that was a championship. Their job now is to be able to hand that to the next group. And that's how they're going to continue to leave a legacy at Robert Miller High School. So um, I'm going to ask a couple of these guys to come up and say a few words. Our offensive tackle number 75, I'm now an AC. Hello, uh, I'm Adam. I just wanted to come out and say thank you for everybody that showed up. It really means a lot to us. Um, all these guys from the freshman level, the JV to the varsity, they put in work the whole summer. And it really means a lot when y'all showed up to the games and support us out there. A uh, big thank you to the coaches and everybody up on us. And keep pushing us to be better than what we expect ourselves. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Keep showing up. Hope y'all can take it off Friday night tomorrow. I mean, Friday morning tomorrow. I love the hot and support us. So, oh, good luck. Hello, I'm Paul. I want to thank everybody for coming out today and supporting us. And I want to have everybody out there tomorrow supporting us too if we can. And it's been a hard for some work, and everybody's been working hard from freshman up to the varsity. So. Please come out and support us, and we'll thank everybody for coming out again. And coaches, uh, thank you. We're not that nervous in the locker room when you're talking, I promise you that. But uh, appreciate everything these guys have done. And again, parents, I can't thank you enough. Uh, all of you in the stands, you know who you are, that, that uh, continue to support Bella High School and everything we do. Don't think that your efforts go unnoticed. These guys understand that they're part of something bigger than themselves, and I think when they go out and play on Thursday or Friday, uh, they know that they're representing not only Bella High School, but the city of Edinburgh. And uh, by the looks of it tonight, they got a responsibility to come through with. So again, uh, round of applause for our 2016 Marshall football.